Hi, Member of Parliament Mark Warwood, another MP Minute and uh, a follow-up interview with uh, Major uh, Ian Newby uh, right here in beautiful Langley, British Columbia. Uh, we had a, a very interesting interview where you were showing us all the uniforms and now we're outside looking at sort of some of this incredible uh, military vehicles and equipment. Uh, behind me, uh, I see a lot, and around me, we even have a, a leopard tank, uh, one over there and one right behind me. Um, how many of these uh, military vehicles are Canadian? Very, very few. Uh, the Canadian government policy is we destroy everything. Um, the Canadian vehicles we do have here have been saved just literally um, at the 11th hour by some... Uh, doing some, uh, some work for the government in exchange for uh, vehicles that have been transferred to us. But very, very few Canadian vehicles are preserved. Hmm. So we have uh, vehicles that are what, American and British? Mostly American and British here, uh, and German. Uh, the German army, when they were uh, training in, in Shiloh, Manitoba, uh, were very good to us with the provision of some really neat German machinery and equipment. Okay, so the vehicles behind me, uh, they are being used for movies, is that correct? That's absolutely correct. Everything you see around you in the yard here, a lot of them are veterans of probably 40 or 50 different productions. So you're having a lot of fun. You're a, you're a history, history buff, a military background, but you collect these uh, and you've created this incredible business here where uh, movies uh, are coming to you to provide uh, miracle, uh, excuse me, vehicles for their movies. Um, to get uh, movies uh, using Canadian military uh, vehicles, where would they go? Uh, there is nowhere they can go. The last film that I made where we had Canadian government cooperation was called Peacekeepers, and it was made uh, with and for the CVC and Canadian Forces Base Petawawa in uh, the 1990s. Um, if we were required to do a story of the Canadians in Afghanistan, um, or Canadians in other uh, areas of peacekeeping, we would have a major problem because the vehicles are not available. They have mostly been shredded. Okay, so if there was, we're t missing uh, out on possibly millions or billions of dollars of revenue uh, for making of movies, um, and if it was going to be a, a Canadian military focused, the vehicles just are not available. They are in some museums in Ottawa's uh, military museum. Uh, that has a lot of those Canadian vehicles, but other than that, it's uh, what is the policy? Well, Canadian military museums, by government policy, are not allowed to uh, rent or lend any of their equipment for liability reasons for uh, motion picture or television productions, which rather limits uh, vehicles that have been preserved but are being kept uh, away from where they could be utilized in, uh, well, let's say, making uh, making money and making pictures. So if somebody wants to see uh, incredible military vehicles, it would be right here in Langley, British Columbia, and you are ground uh, central for providing uh, the movies uh, with equipment like this. They can see you and meet you and talk to you. Uh, Major Newby, incredibly interesting man, uh, at the Aldergrove Fair every year in beautiful Langley. And um, you, I'm sure you'd like to meet people. Absolutely. I. Uh, like to see the faces on uh, children and the young people when they are, are allowed to go and climb in and on and through this equipment. Uh, uh, it's the only way that they are going to get an understanding of what our soldiers have uh, fought for and fought with. Um, uh, there's no point in putting something behind a picket fence and there's no point in showing people pictures. You, you have to have a hands-on museum experience. You are a very interesting person, extremely intelligent, uh, but most of all I want to thank you for serving our country. Um, you were born in England, you're now proudly Canadian, um, and you were brought over, I believe, uh, by the Canadian soldiers, you and your family, uh, because of your generosity in, in to the Canadian soldiers uh, during this, the war, is that correct? That's absolutely correct. Um, we are only here speaking today because my grandmother um, took uh, a bunch of Canadian, young Canadian soldiers into our house and mothered them while they were away from home for a long time for the first time. Uh, so far. Thank you, Major Newby.
Uh, thank you, and uh, again, a very interesting uh, visit with Major uh, Ian Newby here in beautiful Langley, British Columbia. Thanks so much.